Capacity charts are available for all types of slings. They are often called rigging charts. The capacity of all slings are affected by 1. The material of the sling 2. The size of the sling and 3. The hitch of the sling The capacity of all slings is valid only if you protect slings from damage. Wire rope slings are used throughout our industry. Rigging charts are commonly available for them. These charts allow us to determine the capacity of the sling as it is used in the various hitches. Every sling has a rated load capacity. This is the maximum weight you can hang from it straight down. Exceed the capacity and you'll break the sling. Load capacity is measured with a straight sling and a straight pull. If the sling is bent or pulled on an angle, the sling's capacity will be reduced. When one leg of the sling connects to itself, it's called a choker hitch. The connection point is either the eye of the sling or a hook. The thing to remember is that using a choker hitch reduces the load capacity of the sling. A choker hitch has only 75 to 80 percent of the capacity of a single leg. It's reduced even more if you beat the eye of the sling down. This changes the angle of choke measured here. If the angle of choke is less than 120 degrees, the sling's capacity can be reduced by as much as 50 percent or half of the single leg hitch. The choker is easy and convenient, but it doesn't provide a full 360 degree contact with the load. A double wrap choker is better for handling bundles of materials like rod or pipe that require more sling contact to help hold them in place. A basket hitch runs under the load and both ends of the sling connect to a common point. If the sling forms what's called a true vertical basket hitch, it has twice the capacity of a single leg sling. But when you go from this to this, you reduce the capacity of the sling. How much you reduce it depends upon this angle. It's called the horizontal angle. Here's the horizon line. Here's the line of the sling. The angle between them is called the horizontal angle. The smaller or tighter this angle, the more the load capacity of the sling is reduced. When the horizontal angle is at 60 degrees, its capacity drops from twice that of the single leg to 1.7 times that of the single leg. When the angle is 45 degrees, it drops to 1.4 times. And when the angle is 30 degrees, it drops to 1.0 times, or the same capacity of a single leg. So remember that this angle, the horizontal angle, is important in determining the sling's load capacity. Let's use the wire rope rigging chart to determine the capacity of an IWRC wire rope sling in various hitches. In this example, a wire rope single leg sling fabricated from extra improved plow steel, three quarter inch diameter, has a capacity of 5.6 tons. In this example, the same three-quarter inch wire rope sling would lose approximately 25% of its capacity when formed into a choker and would drop to 4.1 tons. In this example, a two-leg wire rope sling must lift a five-ton load. At a 60-degree horizontal sling angle, two 9-16 inch wire rope slings would be required. And at a 45-degree horizontal sling angle, two 5-8 inch wire rope slings would be required. At 30 degrees, two 3-quarter inch slings would be required. In this example, a double choker hitch is used to lift a 10,000-pound load. At 60 degrees, two 3-quarter inch slings would be required because the capacity of a choker hitch is only 75% of the vertical or single leg.